blinking planetary, blinking nebula or blinking eye planetary was discovered by the famous Anglo-German astronomer William Herschel on September 6, 1793, who described it as a starless point nebula, similar to a bright spot. A little later in the new general catalog, it was indicated under the designation NGC 6826. Blinking planetary is located in the constellation Cygnus and is located at a distance of 1,600 to 5,500 light years from Earth. Blinking planetary was formed approximately 10,000 years ago as a result of the first stage of the ejection of its envelope by a red giant with a mass of up to eight solar masses and an age of eight to 10 billion years. The resulting barely noticeable inhomogeneous, irregularly shaped, extremely dim, weakly ionizable combined gas cloud with a mass of up to 50% of the mass of the progenitor star hides a hot central white dwarf. According to astronomers, it is one of the brightest of its kind known to earthly science. This white dwarf has a mass of no more than 55% of the sun's at a near-Earth radius. The temperature on its surface is about 47,000 Kelvin, and its luminosity exceeds the luminosity of our sun by more than 1,300 times. Apparently, it will continue to heat up for several hundred million years to temperatures of about 100,000 Kelvin, and then begin to gradually cool and fade. Now the white dwarf is surrounded by a double layer of gases on the outside and a relatively bright outer giant diffuse halo with a diameter of more than two light years. Note that the relatively dense central shell of the shimmering nebula with a complex filamentary structure and a diameter of about half a light year is slowly expanding at a speed of 10 to 30 kilometers per second. Looking at the blinking planetary in the available images, we see that, in addition to the prevailing green color corresponding to doubly ionized oxygen, to the right and left of the center of the nebula we can see two bright red formations, which is typical for ionized nitrogen. These are the so-called fast low ionization emission regions, or flyers. These relatively young, supersonic moving formations at opposite ends of the nebula, which appeared about 1,000 years ago, still intrigue researchers with the mystery of their origin.